everybody, today is Friday, and that's usually when I catch up on some personal stuff. I check my inbox, return some emails, and of course, I send out thank you notes. And I was running a bit behind today, so I thought, if you guys wouldn't mind, I'd like to write out my weekly thank you notes right now. Is that cool with you? <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, James, can I get some uh, thank you note writing music, please? Wow. There's a few beans in his cabinet. Wow. Thank you, Mother's Day, for being that special time of year where kids force their moms to eat a mediocre breakfast in an uncomfortable position. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I spilled it. <laughs> Thank you, a photo of Joe and Joe Biden visiting former <laughs> President Carter and his wife for looking like a still from the upcoming movie, Honey, I Shrunk the Carters. This looks good. Thank you, the first week of May, for flying by so quickly. I mean, before you know it... It's gonna be June. <laughs> you know that song? <laughs> oh. Thank you, Game of Thrones prequel, House of the Dragon, for giving the internet something to be mad about when the finale airs in eight years. <laughs> oh. I didn't like it. Thank you, FDA, for authorizing the use of the Pfizer vaccine for teenagers. Although, if you really want to get teenagers to get vaccinated, just tell them that they're not allowed. Oh. You can't tell me what to do, I'm gonna Dad. Yeah. I'm going to clean up this whole yard in my room, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll change the oil on the car. <laughs> How old are you, son? My son is uh, 75. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, cicadas. This past year has been hard on all of us, so it's nice to know a swarm of loud, hideous bugs is about to arrive. <laughs> Thank you, waiter pouring water, for making me think, do we stop talking completely and silently watch him pour, carry on our conversation, or fake talk until he leaves? <laughs> Thank you. We're good. We're good. We're good. Thank you, baseballs, for looking like you just got out of a major surgery. <laughs> Thank you, diners, for being the only restaurant where half the menu items just sound like dares. <laughs> Filet of cod with fresh fruit and coleslaw? <laughs> I'll take that. Sure, why not? Jello with marshmallows in it. All right. Should I get the lobster? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get the fresh. I, I, I wouldn't get the yeah. lobster. Uh, I just I have a choice. It's three in the morning. We just left the Are you bar. Sure? It's I'm just saying, milk I, I haven't or been here lobster before. scampi. <laughs> I, would, I would just go with the burger or fries or something like that. I wouldn't mm, go. I don't know. I think I'll get the octopus. <laughs> okay, I would. Go. And. Yeah. <laughs> the creme brulee. Oh. <laughs> oh they make. Creme brulee at this diner. Oh, yeah, this diner is fantastic. Oh, yeah. It's jello that somebody burned. Yeah, yeah, it's a burnt jello. Yeah, it's more brulee than creme. <laughs> it's something brulee. Yeah, and it's orange jello. <laughs> I like orange jello. I love orange jello. Are you kidding me? Are you joking me? No, I love are you fucking me jello. down? I love orange jello. I love every type of jello. Do you really? Do you, oh, oh do, what, what do you love? Yeah, I love cherry jello. Right? Yeah, I love grape jello. Well, yeah, uh, a lime jello. Not a garbage person. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, regular umbrellas, for probably looking at beach umbrellas like, wait, that was an option this whole time? Should have done that. Thank you, Saad, for being fruit roll-ups for dads. There you have it, everybody. Those are my thank you notes.